I've been married twice and divorced twice. So I, my first marriage, I talk about it on this channel, but I was young, dumb, very overly religious, immature, and I was instantly a husband and a father at 19, 20. And so I did a horrible job. It was just a miserable marriage and always full of fussing, fighting, arguing, complaining, bitching, everything. After we divorced, some years had passed. I met somebody else. I married them. I was way more mature, a lot older. I realized the error of my ways and had been apologizing to my first wife about my horrible husband ship, whatever, for years. But the second wife, I just felt I was way more mature. I knew how to treat a woman. I didn't, I didn't, I felt like I went out my way to love her and give her the world. I was working like three jobs and, didn't, and I was in love. Well, I, and it felt like one job. It was great. I enjoyed being married, but she did not love me. She did not love me the way I loved her. Um, and so when the marriage ended, I felt good about myself in a sense that I knew I did not do her wrong, that she was in error and she was the reason why the marriage broke up. I know to a lot of my friends that may be a surprise because I didn't really go into talking about it, but I learned that the majority of the time when a marriage ends, they always blame the fella. They think maybe he done cheated or he done did something wrong. He, that, that's the reason, but no, it was the other way. So, but anyway, the point is, is that I felt good about myself. Whereas I felt horrible about how I, about how I handled my first marriage. The second one, I felt I went out my way to love her and to, to provide for her and to, to take care of her and, and to be a good husband to her. And so she blew it. But as time passes, as I grow in wisdom, knowledge, understanding, as I get to learn to love myself, I'm realizing that everything that happens in my life I am responsible for it. That somehow, some way, I manifest it. I planted the seeds of it and reaped the harvest of it. And that caused me to think back on my marriage, my second marriage that I felt innocent about. And I wonder now because when I think and as I'm realizing, this is a question. I'm not saying this is true. This is something you have to analyze for yourself. You pray about it, ask God about Examine your own life and see if there's any validity to any validity to this. But I'm beginning to believe that it's possible that everything that happens, good or bad, in our world is something that we pull to ourselves, something that we manifest, something that we create. Because our Father God is a creator. He spoke the world into existence. The scripture says we'll have what we say. Be it unto us according to our faith. I can go on and on. So that I... Is it possible that I manifested the way my second wife treated me, the way she responded me, to me, the way she loved me? Because I realize now, which I didn't realize then, is that she loved me about the exact same way I loved myself. She gave me the same amount of respect, forgiveness, attitude that I had towards myself. She forgave me at the level I forgave myself. Every And so I think that it's possible that she was just simply a reflection of how I loved and valued myself, which is evident when I look back over it now. It seems so evident in how I had so such low self-esteem. I was a lot older then, just stuff like that. I hadn't accomplished all the things. I, I, I was not in a place of feeling like the world was mine like I did the first marriage. I was in a different place, a, a low self-esteem, an insecure place. And she treated me the exact same way I treated myself. As a matter of fact, the only reason that the marriage even ended, because I still loved her and would have forgave her, but I started to begin to love and care for myself. And I realized I need to be treated better. I deserve better. And as I slowly begin to love myself, I, re -desire, I realize I desire better. But... Is it possible that whenever we have a bad relationship, we actually pull that to ourselves? That, just think about other instances. Instance, you ever see a woman who will leave one abusive relationship and go right next to another one? Leave that one and go to another abusive relationship or another abusive? And a lot of times in those abusive relationships, a lot of times that woman doesn't even leave. The abusive guy gets tired of beating her up and he'll leave. 
or tired of abusing her if it's verbally, financially, emotionally, whatever. But regardless, her next relationship is the same kind of guy. Why? Because they're pulling to them how they feel about themselves. I talk about that in, in, uh, in a few of my videos on this channel about um, how to overcome child abuse and um, wife beater, I think it's called. So again, but it's talking about how when you don't love yourself, those kind of things are evident and they, they, they appear outwardly in the things around you. But if you love and value yourself, you cannot hit somebody. You cannot abuse someone because you don't abuse yourself. But if you abuse yourself, abusing someone else is child's play. It's gravy. So anyway, the point of this is to say something that I want you to analyze for yourself. And I'm not certain if this is true or not. I'm not trying to be right. I just want to give you something to think about, something for you to go pray about. Use your common sense Christianity, fast about it, ask God about it. Just decide for yourself. Examine your life. Is it possible that everything around us that we experience we actually are creating it. It is a reflection of how we treat ourselves, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about the world around us. We pull more of that to us. Let it marinate. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.